One of my rules for creating content or threads is that it has to be something that's relatively unique to me. You couldn't just copy and paste it from Wikipedia. Mm -hmm. So either like I find this truly fascinating or it's like from my life experience, my company building experience or something else. And I think that's worked well. You know, I put out a lot less content that way, but I don't fall into the bucket of like, oh, here's another story that I could have picked up about whatever billionaire who, <laughs> you know, right. like I can read Wikipedia as well. I'm curious about your approach of like how you think about what's worthy of sharing on Twitter and what's not. When I think about the threads that I've created, I also try and have some unique angle. So it's not just sharing a quote, it's like formatting the quote with a picture of the person. I now have created like hundreds of graphics, like these very simple images related to money and finance. And those were all ones that I made myself. One of the biggest tweet storms I ever had is 15 of those images tweet stormed together, all with the key principles of investing in wealth building that I learned the hard way with a little simple graphic. I think that people understand that those were created by me painstakingly. Another thing that I learned from, it might've been from this podcast. Your podcast is a hidden gem, uh, Nathan, was the idea that James Clear and um, what's the guy from Wait But Why? Tim Urban, yes. This thing so resonated with me as soon as they said it and it made so much sense. They said, A plus content gets reshared. A minus content does not. Therefore, create nothing but A plus content. Not A minus, not A, A plus. Wow, is that hard to do? Because when you are like a couple hours into creating content and you're like, it's an A, I have this tweak that can make it an A plus, going that extra distance is very mentally painful to make something an A plus. But if you can do so consistently, that extra effort is so worth it.